Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria and today I'm going to talk about my trinonin routine to get rid of post-inflammatory erythema. So, post-inflammatory erythema is those annoying little red marks you get right after you heal from a pimple or your acne. So for me, it was all over my cheeks. My acne was all over my cheeks um, and once I got into lactone, my skin has now cleared up, but unfortunately I had to deal with those little red marks all over my cheeks that literally just like made me still look like I had acne when I didn't at all. So I'm gonna insert some photos of how my skin looked a couple months ago, somewhere around here. So that was my skin a couple months ago and it was, really hard to deal with that because I had worked so hard to clear my acne. I went to my dermatologist because I was not even going to try to buy things for it because in the past I have suffered from it and nothing worked. So I wasn't even going to go and spend money on products from Sephora or wherever. I wasn't going to deal with that. I was just like, you know what, let me go to the dermatologist because I'm pretty sure what they're going to recommend me is so much better than what I'm going to go and spend like. 50 or like a hundred dollars on so he prescribed me trinonin and he prescribed me 0.025 percent so i started trinonin a couple of months ago and i'm going to insert some photos of my post-inflammatory erythema somewhere here so you guys can see how far i've come right now i'm wearing makeup but at the end of this video i'm going to like Put a little time lapse thing and you guys can see like my skin and also on my instagram i'm always posting photos of my skin all the time it's like a little skin influencer little blog on there <laughs> so you guys can like go and like follow me on instagram i have a lot of updates on there and tips about post-inflammatory erythema skin positivity and acne so sorry I had to give myself a little shout out but so what I used, I use obviously trinonin, but the products you use with trinonin are very important. And I just want to say, if you're on trinonin right now, for the love of God, if you are using a cleanser that has salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or any type of serum, vitamin C serum in it or like anything else that is not, anything that is like and active don't use it throw it out <laughs> save it for later because you don't need to be using that when you're on trinonin if you're on trinonin you want to be using cleansers that are very 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 gentle my favorite one is a survey hydrating cleanser i've been using this since the very beginning of my spare lactone journey if you don't know what spare lactone is spare lactone is a medication to clear acne so i have been using the survey hydrating cleanser ever since i started my journey and it's my favorite cleanser if you have normal to dry skin you'll love it if you have oily skin maybe you might not like it but who am i to tell but if you have oily skin you'll probably more likely like a foaming cleanser better because this one is not foaming this one is a cream so You'll probably like the Neogen Green Tea Foaming Cleanser. I love this cleanser and that's because I'm normal to dry skin and I love it. It's so good. It's so good. I love this cleanser so much. Honestly, I recommend this one if you like a foam, but if you're not a fan of a foam, you can go for the CeraVe one. So step one is using a very, very, very gentle cleanser. And I also like the Vani Cream cleanser they sell it at walmart they sell it at target that one's a really good cleanser that one's a foaming cleanser too but if you have dryish skin don't use that one go for the CeraVe one if your skin is dry so step one use a very very gentle cleanser step two is keeping your routine very simple so when i'm on my trinonin days i i right now currently i only use trinonin like three to two times a week so what I like to do is right after I cleanse my skin 
I like to go and pop on a moisturizer right after. So I pop on the moisturizer and I put it all over my skin just as normal. And then I go in with Tranonin and I apply a little pea size of Tranonin, dot it all over my face, just like a pea size and go like this. And then after that, after it's rubbed into my face, I go in with a moisturizer again on top of the Tranonin. Now this is called the sandwich, how's it called? The sandwich method. The sandwich method. So it's basically you're applying a moisturizer, Tranonin, and then a moisturizer again. So what this is going to do, I learned this from Dr. Dre, he's a dermatologist on YouTube. If you haven't watched her videos, what are you doing? You should definitely watch her videos. It's like I learned so much from her when I was going through my acne and currently with the post inflammatory erythema. Anyways, but it's called the sandwich method. So the sandwich method basically prevents any, prevents irritation from tranonin. And this has helped me so much. I literally have never peeled on tranonin. I've never gotten dryness from tranonin. Never never my skin has been so good to me while i'm trying to own it and honestly i can thank the sandwich method for that so that is what i do so and then in the morning and by the way if you didn't know this you should know this i mean your dermatologist should tell you this if you are on trend known if you are on trend known in you only use it at night just saying you only use it at night because i've heard people use it during the day and i was like you can't do that you can't you can't do that it, it will literally burn your skin off like it will literally like I've heard like a story from someone I used to work with uh, I used to work at Ulta and there was this guy who told me he used Trinonin and he used it during the day and he never knew that he wasn't supposed to use it during the day and it left him this big brown spot all over his cheeks and his forehead I felt so bad for him because his skin was severely burned from trying to own it because you're not, it's not supposed to see the daylight. It's just in the nighttime. So please keep that in mind. And also, I want to say that you need to build yourself up using Tranonin. Tranonin is very strong. You don't want to be using it every day because it's not meant to be used every day. So for me, when I first was prescribed Tranonin, I only used it once a week for about three weeks. So I picked my day and what I wanted, say it's Wednesday. I would do it on a Wednesday night, my little Tranonin routine. And I was like that for about three weeks. After the three weeks were up, um, towards the end of that month, I was already starting to do two times a week. So I would do a Monday and I would do a Thursday. Like I would space out my day so my skin won't get irritated. So, and then eventually now I built up my way to three times a week so build up building up your tolerance for it is the key because if you do it every day or you do it three times a week as soon as you get it your skin is going to get very irritated it's not going to be pretty you're not going to want to be using it anymore because your skin is just going to get so irritated you're just going to get fed up with it so please start slow so that's all I do. I literally just use a cleanser, the moisturizer, and this on my Tranonin days. I do not like to mix anything because I feel like that makes the situation worse. So please do not add, do not use vitamin C in your routine when you're on Tranonin. Do not use salicylic acid. Do not use benzoyl peroxide for the love of God. Please don't. Just like use Tranonin on it by itself and that's it because Tranonin is very strong. It's like literally you're bringing in the big guns when you're using this. You do not want to mix it in with anything else. You're not going to need anything else with it because this does everything. This is like literally so magical. You literally have no idea. So please don't use anything else with it. And then every day, if you're not using an SPF with it, you need to right now because there's no point of you being on trend if you're not using an SPF. So the one that I have been using for a while is the CeraVe SPF 30. This one's pretty affordable. I believe it's like $13 or $14 at the drugstore. It lasts a long time. It really does. And it's SPF 30. You want to try to go for SPF 30 and higher 
nothing below that because channel like I said is pretty strong your skin's gonna get pretty sensitive so right now I'm not on the CeraVe one anymore I'm definitely am using the super group SPF 40 this one I literally just started using this week so we'll see how I like it I've loving it so far because it's SPF 40 and it has vitamin C in it and I know how it said do not use vitamin C in your routine but I mean vitamin C when you apply trenonin I don't have trenonin on my skin in the AM obviously so I can use vitamin C and like get away with it but do not use vitamin C if you're on trenonin like my point is don't use vitamin C in the PM while you are on trenonin just don't use anything else mixed with it just use trenonin alone because that's all you're gonna need so that is a mouthful and I'm like running out of breath but guys just please be patient when it comes to using trinonin and if you are experiencing irritation you're probably using it way too often or you are probably not using a thick enough moisturizer this is a pretty thick moisturizer this is from skin fix you really want something thick um, if you are looking for one from the drugstore you can get the CeraVe um, moisturizer and it comes in a tub you're going to want to go for something in a tub instead because the ones in the tub are the ones that are in the most thick and moisturizing so go for those i'm going to link everything i've been using on trendonin and if i forgot to mention anything i'm going to link it all below and i'm going to link my instagram below it's at victoria x gal i talk a lot about acne skin positivity and stuff like that so please like go and follow me and i will definitely answer any questions you have about spare lactone or trinonin i'm here to help you guys so i just wanted like to come on here and answer these questions for you guys because people were asking me about it and i feel like it's better for me just to talk about it in a video and i wanted to keep this really short and simple because when you're on trinonin you're supposed to keep it short and simple anyway so i feel like this video shouldn't be any longer than like 15 minutes and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy these videos, give it a thumbs up, comment below, ask me any questions, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.